Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today, I have to move our fifth wheel and we're gonna use the gas truck. The dually should be done this week. Should be done this week, but again, this is a lot of work, big project, and it's being done perfectly. So, with that being said, I wanted to discuss in this video some of the concerns, not problems, but concerns I've been having with my gas truck. This thing is slow, and I think I know why. But there's the fifth wheel. We gotta put it on the side of the house over here. So let's go. I actually have to get some gas for the truck, so I figure we'll do some quick towing impressions with this gasser. I have to admit, owning a gas truck is starting to grow on me. Like, one thing I like about gas trucks is they heat up really fast. That never gets old. So I drove out earlier today, and yeah, it's still warm. It's been sitting for like probably three hours now at this point. Yeah, 1,700 miles. I've been doing a lot of driving back and forth because as you guys know, with the dually truck, I've been building it. So just kind of checking in and getting footage for that. And I have to admit something too, like, I ran out of content this past weekend. So as you guys know, I've been posting a lot of videos. And because of that, I ran out because normally I get RV reviews and I haven't had a chance to do that because they're kind of far from my house. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and pull under the fifth wheel. Hopefully the battery's not dead too because the other day the battery was kind of getting low. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and pull up just a little bit more. And that should do the trick right there. Now, some people have been asking me questions about should they switch over to a Reese Goose box. Here's what I'll tell you. Any pin box, either Gen Y or this one, are perfect for fifth wheels. Now with the Reese Goose box, you have to do some research, but I do know that it does not void the Lippert frame warranties. I still get that question every once in a while, but with Gen Y, it might, because I don't know if theirs has been tested. Do I need to lift that up? I don't think I do. These trucks sit so stinking high. So I need to go a little bit over to the right. So what I normally do is, I normally turn to the left, like a little bit, and then I go straight. And you can kind of see, you saw that just now? You can actually kind of see it. And then just back up. I might still need to go over a little bit, but let's just go ahead and check it real quickly. Oh man, I probably was there the first time. Huh. But yeah, let me just scoot over a little bit, and then we'll just go ahead and drop the weight down. Uh-oh. Right turn signal, left turn signal need to be checked. I just hit the brakes just now. Let's hit the start light test. Hmm. I wonder if it's doing a check. That's it, stop test. Okay, so no issues found. Okay, so this is actually a fun fact here. So you have four pins that are for lights, and I think some of these are gonna be for your brakes, and it might be a ground. One of them could be for a ground maybe. But nevertheless, I need to do a video on that, plus the trailer brake and how to use this. A couple people have been asking me, and I should just do a video on it, because these two things are very, very important, and yeah. This video is gonna hold me to doing that video for you. So let's go ahead and get down the road. Before that, let me do a quick flex. I'm gonna do a real quick flex on you Ram and Ford guys. You ready for this? Chevy wants you to be lazy. Put that tailgate up from inside the truck. <laughs> sometimes I can't help myself. A lot of you guys are still fanboys out there, so I gotta get under your skin sometimes. But I gotta admit something to you. I did something really dumb. I pulled off because this is actually the first time I'm actually 
pulling the fifth wheel, I have not set up my trailer brake as I was talking to you guys about it. So it's at zero, and I was like, man, like this trailer's pushing me. Well, I see why, there's no brake. So I'm gonna put it on eight. Eight and a half, maybe? That's too high. There it is, perfect. Now let's talk about this slow Chevy Gasser here. So as you guys know, I've been doing a lot of zero to 60 times, and I've noticed that this Chevy Gasser is slow. And I think I know why. I think part of the reason is, oh. Uh-oh. I had a fast blinker, but it went away. <laughs> Something about these Chevys, as I mentioned, when I've been doing 0 to 60 unloaded tests with these trucks, they have been really slow and I'm comparing them to Fords and Ram HDs with gas engines. And this truck is like two seconds slower than the Ford 7.3 and about a second or so slower than the Hemi. Now the Hemi has more horsepower but it does have less torque. And the good thing about the Rams are you can get a 410 versus this one you cannot. But nevertheless, something that I've noticed with this truck is when you're hooked up to a trailer, it seems to be faster. So that can only mean one thing, torque management. And guess what? We're at the gas station because this bad boy's thirsty. There's an issue with the gas pumps, unfortunately, so we have to fill up at another day. But I'm sure I have like at least five gallons in there. So we're gonna go down the road here. I'm gonna give it a little bit of acceleration. Oh, it downshifted, oh, nice. But do you see that? This truck's faster. That is not bad. So again, I don't understand I'm confused by the torque management. And you can clearly see, if you go back and watch some of my unloaded zero to sixties, you can clearly see this truck, it struggles to accelerate. But when you put the truck under load, it's faster. I mean, it feels different. And the reason why I'm so confused by that is with the diesels, there's not a lot of torque management, especially down low. Like I'll do a, a zero acceleration up here. I don't have that much gas, but we'll do it anyways. But those trucks, they they launch off the line. Now, in the comment section, I haven't done enough research on this 10 speed up behind the gas engine. Is it different from the Duramax, Allison? So really quick, this is from zero. Like that's not bad, that is not bad. But as I was saying, the Duramax, it launches off the line for the most part. Now it is, there's a small dead spot from like zero to like three to five miles an hour in that ballpark. But once it gets going, it is a rocket ship. My dually is super fast. Like again, there's a dead spot. I will admit there is a dead spot, but it does not, change the fact that this truck definitely has torque management like and you can really see the performance like in the higher speeds like when i'm going 35 40 miles an hour it pretty much launches but i am excited about you know towing the fifth wheel up a six percent grade because that's going to be like the biggest telltale of like the performance because i already did it with the dually in its stock form and of course i'll do that video again with the 37s and we'll definitely have to take this bad boy up that 6% grade to see how it does. So I'm gonna do another wide open throttle. Yeah, that's not bad. That is not bad. <laughs> I'm actually really, really impressed. And that's still about 12, five to 13,000 pounds because I've taken a few things out of the trailer 
but it's still pretty heavy. And despite this being a gas engine and weighing less than what a diesel does, it does still feel pretty secure. And who doesn't love that camera view? This is my favorite thing from Chevy. Like it's absolutely a game changer. I think Ram incorporated this for 2022 or 23. And when you make that turn and you can see exactly where those tires go. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. But yeah, the performance is just, it's pretty darn good guys. I'm really impressed with this truck. The 10 speed is strong. You can feel the torque converter locking up. Yeah. I definitely can't wait to do those tests with this truck. Now, I will do a video kind of going over some of the towing features, but I won't make that video too long because I did one for the dually. And really the only differences are this truck has the 360 cameras that you see there versus that one. That's the only difference. And I have a bed camera, which you guys saw earlier. But the temperatures for the transmission are about 176 degrees. And it is in tow haul mode. Yeah, it's pretty strong. What do you think? It's nice. I mean, you obviously can tell that it's not a diesel. Like, it's definitely down on power, but it's not like, it's not terrible. So be sure to stay tuned. Oh, wait, one more thing actually here. Let me get up to about 45 miles an hour here. I want to show you guys the downshifts. There we go, about 45. Not bad. That's second gear, by the way. No diesel, but if you're going on a steep grade, we'll have to see how it does holding the gears. Man, oh man, does this look good together. I do like white on black, guys. This white truck with black wheels looks so good. But I hope you guys like the video. Hopefully next week, if I have the chance, I will take this out to Park City, do that 6% grade. It's just really hard to get videos in with this big trailer because I only can go out and get one video. And that's not beneficial for me because I post a lot of content, as you guys can see. So that's why it's been a little bit harder for me to get this video done. And we've been busy with obviously outdoorsy. The dually has been really keeping me busy because I've run into some issues with the tire fitment. <sighs> I use those spacers and now we have another issue. But yeah, this is what happens when you modify cars. See in the past, I always modify my cars. Nothing ever stays stock, but my 2019 and 18 Ram, actually my 2018 Ram, I did some modifications to it, not performance wise, just aesthetically. But yeah, this trailer is so big, it's hard to park it anywhere 
out in Utah, like in the city. So I would like to just do that video and then drop it and go do videos elsewhere and then go home. That way I'm not going back out, you know, two and three times because yeah, we live pretty far out. So yeah, with that being said, last thing I want to mention is torque management, right? So under load, this truck does feel quicker. And what I mean by that is when I tested the truck with the six speed against this one, this truck beat it with the black trailer. When I did the zero to 60 unloaded, this truck lost to that six speed. And so, as you guys know, this truck does have the 11 and a half inch ring gear. And I wonder if that's a culprit to why this truck has torque management. It definitely has torque management. It definitely does. And also, I wonder if the internals of the Allison transmission are different too. So, those are just some things I've been thinking about. So, we'll have to put a pin in it. Maybe someone can chime in um, in the comment section if they know. Uh, if you do know, or if you know where to get the information, let me know. Because I've checked before, and it looks like the Allison transmissions are the same. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. Dually should be done. And I think that's it. Peace.